okay so the first thing you need to know is that every youtube design or every thumbnail design um, has a size of 16 by 9 um you can go over to youtube thumbnail here and you see the aspect ratio here 16 by 9 which in pixels is 1280 by 720 okay so this is it so uh, there are many things that make up a thumbnail and depending on what you want to do depending on the type of content you create to determine how your thumbnail will be now um one of the things that are very prominent in every youtube thumbnail is pictures and um and then um, yeah i just want to put it around this side now um you can see um how the picture is the guy is um he's showing a kind of um facial expression which is surprised now this is for a reason because almost every video on youtube has this kind of picture and it raises curiosity in in the mind of the viewers now when you see somebody is um I'm surprised at something you are like wow why is he surprised so you want to know why he's surprised and and yeah you are going to click the video now you want to create a background that is also nice um, this gradient is okay this um, blue gradient is also okay but I want to go with um, a kind of yellow background so or yellow orange background so i want a background that is very very vibrant so that um it's going to attract the viewers very well now one thing you need to know about youtube learning is that when you're designing your thumbnail you need to create curiosity fear or you need to make people see that they're missing out on something now with this facial expression yeah yeah i'm creating curiosity in the mind of the viewers okay so um the next now to do is to write out the title of my video or my thumbnail so i'm going to say how to um i'll choose the text um the font i want to create or the font i want to use i'm going to use um bebas regular so i'll scale this up a bit and um, I'll change the color to a darker color. I want it to be black or dark. Then I'll also change the spacing of the text so that they are not too far apart from each other. So, okay, um, just increase it a bit. Okay, this is okay. So I'll increase it like this and I'll copy it and now write how to create a YouTube thumbnail. Okay. And I want the text to be aligned to the right side. So I'll go to align and I'll choose um, this right one here so the line spacing is too much i will just reduce it like this okay so um i'll make this how to small because it's not really what i want people to see and then okay i, I put a spacing here so i'm going to delete it okay so you can see it's um, aligned very well so how to create a youtube thumbnail i'll bring out my grid here and i'll position this here i don't want to position it too far apart from the border of the or too close to the border of the design so i'll put it out to create and i'll copy this i will write and um, on android okay so um I'll put this here also and yeah we've created the title for the thumbnail uh, I want to import 
there yeah so this is it okay i think i'm okay so i'm a bit close to the original but I, I don't want it to be like the original i want to just um show you some things okay so um let me just change the background to match the original i'll go to my color picker and i'll pick um this yellow color here i'll increase the saturation and i'll push it to this side a bit yeah so um we have something like this so you can see the lights coming from his behind and the glue also so i'll just put off this um, layer and then i want to make that glue so the first thing I want to do is to go over to shapes here. Okay, I will have to lock this layer. I'll go back to my stickers and create a new sticker. Now, this sticker is what will enable me to create that glue. So I'll use my ruler. I'll take the ruler back to normal. Then I'll turn on my grid and I'll position this in the middle. I'll copy it again and I'll position it in the middle as well. I want to increase this. Position this in the middle. I'll copy it again and position it in the middle. But I want this to be smaller. Then one last copy for that in the middle as well. So I'll go over to my merge and I'll merge these four shapes which I've created. I'll merge them together. So after the shape is being merged, I want to take it to the back of the subject here. I'll take it to his back and you can see the glue has been created. Now I also want to make it look as if his body is glowing from the light behind. So I'll go back to inner shadow and I'll choose this yellow color here. Then I want to... I want to um, increase the blur radius a bit and yeah you can see the before and the after so that is how I created um, the glue on his body you can also come ahead here and copy this um, this light you created and put some of it on on the side of his body just like this yeah and you want to reduce the opacity like this yeah okay so by the way if you have not gotten my course on adobe lightroom and how to edit pictures on adobe lightroom because this picture isn't the final version of from pixel lab i also went to lightroom to add some other effects to the picture now if you want to learn how to do that with lightroom how to add effect and how to make your pictures pop the more how to make all the details in your picture come out um click the link in the description below um to learn how to edit pictures using lightroom okay so um back to the tutorial um your text can be anywhere now you can put your image to be by the right hand side or by the left hand side it depends on what you want to do so i want to bring this one and the motion blow to it so um i'm going to scale this down and position it by his head side now the reason i'm using a youtube icon is because I'm talking about how to create a YouTube thumbnail. So, um, I'll position this, can position this here, can copy again and position it anywhere. You just want it to fill the space. Can put it here as well. Can change the um, rotation so that it doesn't look as if it's in one direction. Can bring in another one here and and put it here all right so we're getting close to what we want um i want to bring in um i want to bring in a source of like a line bust 
texture so i'll go to my pack yeah this pack also um of all my design assets is also in in the course so when you when you purchase the course um, you get this also and also with um the lightroom premium app and with some other things a bunch of presets and yeah that's all you'll be getting in the course so you use the link in the description to get it and enjoy it so i i put that in i want to go to um my eraser and increase it i want to clean out some edges of this that are too harsh and right here also so so we have this then i'm going to go over and then lock all these so that i won't be touching them accidentally all right so um i will just have to use the original image as a reference to so that i can create my own text how to how to make youtube thumbnails on your android okay so um how to make i'll go to where the text is and uh, mind you your thumbnails don't have to be the same i'm just giving you a hint of how you can start off by making your youtube thumbnails if you follow this process you can use this to make your thumbnails this is how i create mine you can use it to create your thumbnails and you don't need to bother about using any other style because this is like the um standard youtube thumbnail um, um size and youtube thumbnail um style of editing so youtube thumbnails okay um there is a spacing i put there which is not supposed to be there so youtube thumbnails um on your android so i'll go here and put on your android okay um i'll just edit adjust this and put it right here so this is better than what we did before so i'm just going to um carry all these layers and i'm going to lo um merge them after merging them i want to add um a perspective to it and if you've not watched my video on how to create um how to skew your text you should watch that with the link above so just tap the card above and you see there so when i on this i'm going to have something like this so i want to increase the size a bit and yeah so um that is how i did it it may not be the same as this but um you get the idea so um a good youtube thumbnail should have a captivating picture a captivating background which can contrast with the picture and the text so um because um if you look at this this is very catchy with the icons floating around you have um a very good thumbnail that will get people to click and i hope they do so um this is just a breakdown of how to create a, your youtube thumbnails if you are starting out on youtube as a designer an entrepreneur or anything you are doing on youtube you this will help you know how to create your picture so using the grid in pixel lab you can decide to make here where your text to be here where your image will be or you can put your image in the middle and your text in the middle as well so um i advise you to check other youtube thumbnails to see how people are doing it so that you can do yours and yeah you can get people to click your thumbnails so um thank you for watching this video to the end if you have not gotten my course on lightroom to make you know how to edit pictures to be like this the link is in the description below do well to purchase it so that you can learn how to 
create um, captivating flyers on your smartphone. And um, with that being said, I'll see you in my next video. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Yeah, peace out.